We could hear the bombs whistling as they fell, but we couldn't see them. Then everything happened in a flash. The Sri Lankan military bombed my school and my village, Nagarkogul. They killed dozens of us. There was smoke everywhere, bodies everywhere. Entire village was screaming, looking for their children. My brother Kanan, he was blown into two pieces by the shrapnel. I lost three cousins and a lot of friends. We lived in uh, various displacement camps for the next year and a half. Then my relatives uh, found me an agent to get me out. By chance, it was to Australia. I was 13 years old and couldn't speak a word in English when I arrived here. The government put me in Willowwood Detention Centre, which was effectively a refugee prison. After three months, I was let out. No child should go through these things. I have a daughter now. Her name is Sarul. Uh, in Tamil, it means uh, drizzle with gentle wind. Uh, it's a happy name, and I hope she lives a happy life here. In 2011, I founded the Tamil Refugee Council with my friend Trevor Grant. Trevor was a journalist. TRC has been fighting for refugee rights and providing support to people who have come to Australia fleeing Sri Lanka's genocide. Actually, it was through this activism uh, I met my wife, Lavanya. She was uh, born and grew up in a refugee camp in India. Now she's a union organizer in Melbourne, fighting for workers in health services. They say Australia is a lucky country, but lots of working people struggle here. Houses are so expensive. Real wages have gone backwards. Hospitals are in crisis. How can it be that the 47 richest people in this country have more wealth than the bottom 7.7 .7 million? They have divided us using racism and bigotry. They make us blame each other for the problems they created. I became a union organizer because I know that we're stronger together, united, not divided. I have organized workers in finance, manufacturing, recycling, and a range of other workplaces. Everywhere, the bosses have been getting richer while we're being asked to work more for less pay. But there's so much wealth in this country, enough for everyone to have a good life. We should have better schools, better hospitals, and better wages. That's what socialism is about. Working people, regardless of our race, our religion, our gender, standing together, fighting together for a world that works for everyone. I'm Aaron Malvagnum, Victorian Socialist Senate candidate. Together, we have a world to win.